what's going on? Family, what's going on? The welding coach checking in. Today, we want to work on some 6010 and 7018 uphill. So I want to kind of do, you know, one of each rod. I had a few people asking me about going uphill, any tilts. We know that with this 60, 11 rod, I mean the 6010 rod, that with this rod, you have to manipulate it. With the 7018, we can do a slight drag and just drag it up the plate. But with the 6010, we're gonna have to do something. You gotta do some circular, some zigzags, something to um, help the whale well lay in real good. So on this first one, our goal is to come to the toe of this and we're just gonna try to go uphill. Now I got the rod, the amp set on about 95 amps, family. So I'm about 95 amps right now. And uh, we're gonna dive into this, see how it turns up. Made it almost to the top, probably about a half inch from being. Now we're using the 6010, and like I said, I got it set on about 85 amps. Yes, it's sounding pretty good, fam. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for checking in. So I like to start the rod off, like I say, on the bare minimum. Each machine is different. Just because it says 95 amps or 85 amps don't necessarily mean that's what it is. So this is the first one we ran, and that's 6010. Now we're gonna burn a few more different patterns. I tried, we're gonna try a few different things and see how it turns out. I messed around and started this camera on the wrong way, fam. I'm trying to see if I can flip it because I messed around. See if I can get this, okay. What up, fam? All right, I need to flip it, fam. That way, once I'm doing this, I can actually see. I can see the uh, comments. What's going on, fam? I'm running this 6010 on 85 amps right now. And when I start my 7018 off, it's a 330 second. I'm gonna start it off about 90 amps. You wanna keep it real tight, fam. What kind of uh, patterns are you using? So when you, even when you're going uphill, you can step out and step in. So you can step out and step in even going uphill. You can do a, a slight circular motion. You can do a, a zigzag motion. Whatever it is you need to do to try to, you know, just try a couple things till you fine tune it. We're gonna do another one. And this one right here, I'm gonna do a different, a different technique than I did the other one. Yes. Tight arc is gonna really help you out. 
having a tight or you want to keep it as tight as you can fam as tight as you can and get comfortable get comfortable make sure make sure everything is good before you start you hate to be stepping on something doing this i've been there you know what i'm saying so it is what it is so with that one was a slight c motion we're gonna switch it up and i'm gonna do a little something different on this one Didn't burn that bad. Now that point, family, I will wear boots with no laces on them. I like boots, boots with no lace. I like the a full leather boot. In my personal opinion, now I wear uh, red wings. Everybody got different boots that they wear. I like wear uh, red wings. That's what I wear. That's who you know. That's brand I support. But everybody's different. But just find you some good boots to wear. I would at least say this, just as a boot tip. You want to get you a boot, especially if you're going to be on your feet a lot, get you a boot with a contour sole. So normally to get one with a contour sole, you're going to at least spend $150, $175 on up to get you a good boot. So at least spend you a bill 50 on a good boot, fam. This is how you make your money. You, you I hate to go down and be broke down when you get home. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Spot right there. I kind of hit my uh, got a little two out the puddle, and I went straight up on that one. I was stepping in to step it out right here. You see, I kind of stepped out just a hair too much. The rest of it's pretty tight, so just try different things. We actually, like I say, we sitting here practicing. We're gonna do a couple different things and see how it turns out. So, I'm gonna do a different pattern when I run one more. No, I'm not, I'm a certified welding instructor. But I can be, I could have, but that ain't that ain't my lane, fam. But I do have a couple people that I reach out to that actually do my coupons. So shout out to Mike Porter and um, Bryant. He's our CWI who tests all of our test plates here at the academy. He do all the test plates and is here in Bryant. And for those who do want to get certified and you got your you got your money in your pocket and you need someone to certify you, I do know somebody that can certify you, fam. It's going to cost, I think, the prices vary, depends on what type of test you're trying to do. Uh, so I think the prices start off probably about a $175, $200 to test, and then just go up. Depends on what you're testing. So it all depends on what you're testing. So with this one right here, we're going to do a slight, probably upside down seeds or something. Let's, let's try something slight different. See how it burns. Try a little something different on that one. Don't really like that pattern that much. Um, it was okay, but I think I like the other ones a little better. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I 
It wasn't bad at all, but I like the other pattern better. So I would try different things. So, so far I didn't try three different patterns with it. So I would just try different things, circular, step in motion, C's, zigzags, slight zigzags, whatever you need to do to pretty much find your, your sweet spot, you know, in it. Uh, my settings right now, I got it set on uh, 85 amps. I'm using a Miller Matic 255. It's a pretty cool unit. It's a multi-processing unit. And I got it set on about 85. So now we're going to go up some. We're going to start off about 90 amps. And we're going to start burning this 330 seconds. The 330 second is the go-to in the field, fam. It is a good go-to. 330 second, one inch, whichever one. That's what I got, fam. Some red wing boots, fam. That's what I wear, fam. Uh, like I say, everybody different. I know. Salute, salute. Thanks for checking in. I know... Um, you know, for cost, but they, I think they got something affordable, honestly, for everybody. So, you know, I like the ones I got. Actually, I'll show you real quick, show y'all what I got. These are the ones that I wear. And see, I like to just pull mine in, but these are red wings. Really good boots. Like, I really like this boot. I don't have an extreme big foot. This is actually a size 10. <laughs> this is a nice 10, but this is what I wear, fam. <laughs> And shout out to Red Wings. Oh, fam. Yeah, they comfortable. Like I got some Jordans on. <laughs> I call them the Jordans of the boots. <laughs> yeah, I just switched it over. We're about to run a 7018 now. I was on 6010. Yeah, fam. These boots like the Jordan. This this the Jordan of the boots. You get you some red wings. Got the Jordans of the boots. <laughs> you want to be comfortable, fam. You want to be comfortable. And they got all kinds, so I know they got some affordable. These here is a little expensive, but, you know, you know, as you work and you make money, fam, you're going to invest in stuff like that. Invest in your boots, fam. Salute, salute. You see me at the expo? Okay, okay. I know I took a lot of pictures, fam. Did I take a picture with you? Okay, okay. Yeah, everybody 10, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Pipeliners, iron workers, shop fabricators, everybody got a different brand that they, that they swear by, you know what I mean? Okay. Like I say, man, it's different brands, fam. I like to stick with what works for me. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Let's burn one. So with this one, I'm running right beside the 6010. And for those who haven't wailed before, just watch how the 7018 isn't as valid. The 6010 got more sparks and stuff jumping everywhere. This is more confined, more crisp, I, I would say, in my personal opinion. And with this rod, I'm not going to do no manipulation. I'm just going to drag it up, fam. That's it. So the focus on this it's to work on your travel speed. Keeping it tight, because you're doing a few things. You're going up, you push it in, and you're keeping it tight. So there are a few different things you're trying to do with that rod. So I understand doing the stick can get complicated, or frustrating anyway.
it all the way up, fam. And even the slag is different. So with the 7018, you have more of a, uh, I will say the slag kind of stays together more. 6010 is more brittle looking slag, black. Um, it don't really come off whole. Hey fam, the last time I checked, I ain't gonna get out of this life alive, fam. I gotta die some way. <laughs> That's what my mama said. We ain't getting out of this life alive, fam, so just keep that in line. Choose your way to die, because you're gonna have to go some way. <laughs> you gotta go some way, fam. It ain't really blowing straight under my hood, so it wasn't bothering me. But that's the one I just dropped on the side. And like I said, we're gonna shoot our ne next one right here. But you see, the profile is a lot different. The bead is different, the well profile, everything is a little different when you switch over from 7018, from 6010 to 7018. Everything's a little different. Salute, salute, much respect, fam. Salute, salute. Hey, man. Hey, man. Get all you can while you're in high school. Salute to all those in high school, fam. Take advantage of those programs if you got some. And if you're thinking about jumping into a career uh, in your last year of high school, fam, that's something you really should consider, especially if you're not wanting to dive into college in that way. Um, they do have alternatives. So uh, with this program, it's 16 weeks. So if you invest 16 weeks after school, we have partners that will start you out at 60K a year, fam. 60K. People going to school three, four years, five years with debt to get 60K. So you can start doing the, uh, start being a welder, fabricator, fitter. And later, if you want to switch it up, fam, you can always switch it up. But to come out of high school and make that type of money, fam, I think it's a no brainer because you're going to learn more, you're going to exert more. So just think if you 18, 19 getting out, you put five years in, 10 years in, you still young, fam, and you got a bake roll and you can switch it up, start your bit, do whatever you want to do. But to me, welding is most definitely a secure career, fam, to get started, especially for someone coming out of high school. Okay, okay, you got you got it in today. You heard what the guy said. He said he got out of welding school making 60K at 19. Salute, salute, fam. You winning. I love it. I love it. Share them stories. More people need to know that the opportunities are out here, fam. You just can't be scared. You know, a lot of it isn't hard work. It might be some dirty work. Uh might get burnt here and there, but hey, it is what it is, fam. Honestly, in this field, now if you're trying to be certain welding instructor, certain welding instructors, uh, places I've seen will hire you at $20, $21, and they want you to have a, a associate degree. You know, <laughs> then you got some that said they, they want experience. You got 10 years experience? Come on, go on come on in. Now that can get you sick, that galvanized <laughs> with no respirator or you breathing that stuff in. Uh, I was running 85 amps on that 6010. I like both, but I'm a fabricator. So if I had to do something fast, I'd pick up the mid gun before ticking. That's just my personal opinion because I had to go fast. Hold up, fam. I just got a message. My dad called him. I'm going to have to hit him back. <laughs> Salute, salute. Thanks for checking in. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the shares. For those who don't know, check out the link in my bio. It's your welding coach on YouTube. It's your welding coach on Instagram. For those who want to send me photos and videos and stuff like that, it's your welding coach. So check that out. And for those who want to get their hog on with me, because I always ask people, ask, hey man, I want to get my hog on with you. Hey fam, all you got to do is go to Amazon. Put in hog on welding, t-shirts, hoodies, I got it them all, fam. Take tops, the whole deal. So you can get yours on Amazon Prime, fam. Just put in hog on welding. Each hog, each shirt you see once you hit 
Once you see it pop up, go to the brand and it'll show you all of my uh, gear, fam. My long sleeves, sweaters, hoodies, everything. And everything is affordable and everything got some meaning. So make sure you hit that def make sure you hit the uh, description so you can see what that brand means, what that shirt stands for. Share it with them, fam. Share it with your boyfriend so we can get some money and help y'all out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. On that one. Salute, salute. After 42 years of doing it, you deserve a retirement. What you doing now, fam? What you doing now? Hopefully, you're just enjoying that bag. The main thing, fam, I would say, I'm doing 7018 uphill now. The main thing I would say is to keep a tight arc, the travel speed, uh, your angle. And make sure you're watching, preparing. When you're doing 3G, you always preparing for your next wheel. So watch the side. Make sure you're tying it in and burning into that backing strip. And uh, literally uh, watch the puddle so you won't put too much weld in. You know, some tests you can't use a grinder. So if you can't use a grinder, you don't want to do something to it that you can't fix for him. So keep that in mind. Google. I don't know where you're from. Google, I'm from so-and-so. Where are some welding jobs near me? I swear it's gonna tell you, fam. You'd be surprised. I didn't did it all, I did it a lot. <laughs> That's how simple it is. <laughs> you got to get the hustle on, fam. You got to get your hustle on. Actually, you wanna cut, you wanna weld on the toe of your previous weld. So you literally wanna cut that weld in half pretty much that you just put in. So you gotta keep it tight. Thanks for checking in, fam. Fam, the main tip I would give you is to uh, start doing your research now where you want to go uh, See what they're doing in your area what they're making call some companies see what's going on So that way you can kind of determine what you want to do If you want to stay in your local area or uh, if you want to travel fam I always say the best advice I can give you before you get into school go on and start doing the homework At least know your focus know where you want to go. Just don't say oh, I'm just coming to class Nah, fam, start figuring it out. Start putting your thinking cap on and start thinking about where you want to go. Call some of these companies. See what they, uh, seeing what they start off at. Seeing what they pay. Just don't dive into it hoping to get rich and realize the area you in ain't going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Yes, that's a good tip, fam. Be consistent. You got to be consistent, fam. You got to be consistent. You gotta be. That's the only thing that's gonna help you out. Really fine tune what you're doing. Like I say, we're gonna now. We're about to. We just jumped here. Now we're going to dive back over here and we're going to start running 6010, I mean uh, 7018s. Uh, we go over those um, 6010s I did. And then we'll flip it up and go the opposite way. 
So what I did was I started 60 tens and then I tied into I tied into them with 7018s. Now I'm gonna come over here and start with some 7018s and then tie into them with a 6010. Good looking fam, thanks for the love. Salute, salute, God bless fam. Like I say fam, just keep that in mind. Start hustling now. Um, never hustle once you finish school fam, cause if that's the case, you have already waited a little too late. You wanna start hustling and networking on what you wanna do and where you wanna go and who you wanna work for before you even start. Like it's possible. Speak it into existence, fam. Do your homework. Knock on some doors. And I swear they're going to open, man. Real talk. I have never seen it not work. What my guy say, preach. Hey, hey, I have never seen it not work, fam. Like, as long as you do that, you're going to be okay. But I love to say this before I dive into this well. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. A rule of thumb, fam, I like to try to burn down the rods to the numbers. Utilize all you can. When you start buying these things, believe me, you're going to save them and use them all you can. <laughs> Thanks for the love, fam. Thanks for the love. I appreciate it. Never had to look hard for one, huh? Yes, it is, fam. It's always in demand. What you said with them agencies, that's exactly what they're doing. You hit it on the nail, fam. I tacked it on there, fam. Yo, what up with it? Uh, I like, honestly, I like, I like a nickel landing, um, 330, 330 second gap if it's an open route. And that'd be pretty good. A nickel landing, 330 second gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me clean this up, fam. I just knocked this one down. Let me clean it up. No, we don't teach how to pipe weld, but I am a pipe welder. But we just don't have any pipe. We teach structural welding here and fabrication. So if we had pipe, I could teach it. But we don't have any. We just do basic, well, we do basic, fam. We do, uh, hopefully, start next uh, next year, next month, we'll have a six-week score. So, a six and a 16 weeks. So, I just ran this one here. Now we're gonna come over here and run one right here. We're gonna keep it going. We're just practicing, fam. We just run a couple beads. I got it set on about 90 amps right now. And I need to go, let me get my flashlight, fam. I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas, fam. In Little Rock, Arkansas, off of Scott Hamilton Drive. Okay, salute, salute, man. Glad you passed your test for your new job, fam. Get to the bag, get to the bag. I know how exciting that is when you're trying to feed yourself. Okay, you just finished working on some pipe. 
Man, 6010 is gonna be just like a six a 6011 be like a 6010, fam. You're gonna have to do some type of manipulation. Circular motion, whipping motion, and keep it real tight. Salute, salute. I appreciate the love, fam. You know I appreciate the love. Power me up, fam. Power me up. <laughs> Yes, yes I have, fam. And I didn't care for it. <laughs> yes, I have. I made good money, fam, but I ain't care for it. Uh, it all depends, fam. I mean, it, it depends on the person. I would say do some reading, do your do some research. It won't take you long. I mean, it all depends on the person, but several weeks, you know. And say it takes about 21 days, three, four weeks to perform a habit, so think of it like that. Uh, fam, I didn't care for it. You, you see the way I look? I reached a lot of racism out there, fam. I'm just going to be honest with you. So, uh, I had a couple fights I had to fight out there. Uh, it is what it is, fam. Um, I'm not an ass kisser, and I most definitely ain't going to let nobody talk to me any type of way. So, I didn't like that. I started forming my own business. I made good money, and I used that money to not return. I'm like, I don't need them, because they was looking for jobs, and I created my own. So, you know, I had to start from somewhere, but I don't, I don't kiss nobody ass, fam. And I don't deal with racism. And out there, fam, it is what it is. It's not a lot of us out there in the field. You ain't going to see a lot of us. Down, it is what it is, fam. You get to the west, you start seeing a couple more. But we always feel between, fam. And I just don't, I just don't like kissing ass, fam. I'm, I'm not going to die with no lipstick on my lips. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, I was making good, man. I was, I was bringing home, man. Ah, shoot, man. I was doing good. Like probably like 125 a day per diem, 65, 75 an hour, man. It was it was it was some good money. Salute, salute. It's just like I say, I don't kiss ass, fam. It was something that you know I experienced it. I got there, but that's not for me. And, you know, it's um, you know, but like I say, if you of a different culture, it might be the best thing for you. You know what I mean? But for me personally, it was you know it was it was it was it was rough, fam. It was rough. I'm talking about. The pipeline. <laughs> I've been there, got some money, and kept it moving. Fam, you want to find you a pipe school near you or find someone that does it. Fam, I don't know anything about the union, fam. I wouldn't even tell my own child to go to the union. But if that's what you want to do, I salute anyone. I don't knock nobody for what they do. But me personally, I don't do unions. If I was going to do a union, I might as well stay on the pipeline. You know what I'm saying? In my personal opinion. I don't do that, fam. I'm good. <laughs> Oh, man. Salute, salute, fam. I'm just giving it to you, fam. I'm just giving it to you. I, I can only keep it 100 with you, fam. I can't sugarcoat it. Uh, actually, uh, like I say, man, you got some, man. It's, it's, I, I ain't had no best one. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real with you, fam. Uh, I, just got, I just got to the money, fam. You know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't prefer none of them. I mean, me personally, I wouldn't prefer none of them. I wouldn't tell, like, I wouldn't tell my son, hey, man, go over there and get on. I wouldn't even do him like that. Not if he looked like me. <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, about 22 years, 23 years now. Who is this? Uh, what's up with it, man? I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas right now. I'm at the academy teaching, as you see. <laughs> I'm in Little Rock right now. Hey, military wellness isn't bad, fam. You actually, you know, they got, there's actually some good opportunities in there for you. I mean, I have seen, I knew some brothers that did it and it turned out, it panned out good for them. I'm not doing the 6010 root pass right now. Salute, salute. Thanks for checking in. Fam, just have patience with yourself. Um, you want to keep a real tight arc. You want to make sure you got a tight arc. I would say, I would work on it without the filler metal. I glide across with one hand, and then I use the other hand and glide across to keep my tight arc and just do my ripples with it. So, you know, take your time like that. I would say learn TIGGING without using the, uh, the filler metal first. That way you can actually get the angle of the rod right, the angle of the gun right. Practice it like that.
What's up with it, fam? Cersei checking in. Cersei checking in. Man, I used to go through Cersei all the time. It used to be a uh, stereo place there. We used to go and get our uh, systems hooked up from Newport when I lived in Newport, Arkansas. I did a 6G. Mine was a 6G on half inch, half inch schedule 40, schedule 80 pipe. Schedule 80. Yeah, it was schedule 80 pipe. For getting into what what is NDT? What is that? I don't know what that is, fam. You got to let me know what you're talking about. Uh, pipe welding probably going to get you the highest money just for welding alone. You know what I mean? But uh, it all depends on what you're doing and where you're at. You know what I mean? As far as dollar amount anyway. But flux score is good too. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You, you messed me up, fam. My mind's somewhere else. You hit me with that. I'm like, you got you to gotta be specific. <laughs> you messed me up. Let me grab something real quick because I got sidetracked. Let me get my, my light. Yeah, y'all hit me up with so many, boy, so many back to back. So I wanted to get my light real quick. And we're going to dive into this next one. We're going to do a 6010. I mean, a 7018. I'm sorry. We're going to dive into it to fill that spot up. Yes, uh, actually, I'm a welder and a fitter, so I can fit too. So I, I was doing both. I was fitting some of my pipes sometimes, and I was getting people that wasn't good fitters. I'd rather fit it myself before I let somebody do it that don't know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, man, I got this, fam. So I was doing. Um, the last one I was on, I was doing 18 and 12 inch pipe. Woo, getting that money, ain't you? Yes, you are certified. We actually send your tests off. If you can pass your test, we actually test you in uphill and overhead and stick and uphill and overhead and flux. And if you uh, take your coupon and pass it, you will leave with your AWS certifications. In your pocket. Now, I want to say this for those who don't know. You have to keep up your certifications like a driver license, but more frequently. You have to send them off twice a year, and now they're $30 every time you do it. So it's $60 a year to maintain your cert. So keep that in mind. So once you get them, it's $60 a year to maintain them. Now... If you're doing something where you don't need them or you starting out working for someone else, I don't prefer you keeping your search in your pocket if you're working for someone else. Once you start doing your own thing or you start traveling, then I say, yeah, going to get them. But if you're going to be in-house, it depends on what you're doing. Sometimes it's not wise to just waste that money if the company is going to recertify you uh, once you get there. So just keep that in mind, too, because a lot of companies recertify soon as you um, soon as you uh, start working for them, they'll recertify you. Man, you even got construction or you can get or you can do some fabrication. Gone. Oh, I got a scorpion tail. It's right here from the drop on me. And that's the difference between that 6010 and 7018. This slag is more together. 
um, when you're doing it with that seven, that sixty ten, it's more of a flaky type. It won't, it don't stick together like the sixty ten, like the seventy eighteen does. Salute, salute. Clean this up. So I'm running 7018s and I'm got it about on 90 amps right now. And uh, it's dropping in. It's dropping in. Got on 90 amps. We got one more bead. See, I got this one pass here. We're going to finish that one. And I'm going to call it. Um, no, I wouldn't do that, fam. Uh, if you pro no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, fam. Salute, salute. You see me at the Weldon Expo, man. I took a lot of pictures, man. I don't know. Did I take one with you? For those who did take pictures with me, uh, on uh, if you in the live or you happen to run across it, make sure you inbox me on Instagram. Send me that photo we took together. So that way I can repost it. What's up with it now? Hey, man, I'll be him until we get here, fam. <laughs> Uh, the easiest position, I would say, it'll be flat. One of the hardest positions, I, in my personal opinion, I say it'll be harder to go uphill than overhead because to me, overhead is like flat. But some people consider overhead to be harder because you got the C and stuff falling down on you. So, you know, it all depends. But I would say the easiest is flat and one of the hardest ones to actually get it down is the, the uphill. In my personal opinion, that's 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 what I pick. Uh, not today, fam. But I get to that one though. Are you still doing it, or you just did it in high school? Yes, I can. Uh, I'm running straight, fam. I'm using a 3.30 second. Using the 3.30 second rod, and I'm running straight in. Honestly, unless I'm capping it, and if I'm capping it with one rod, that's the only time I'm, I do a weave. If I'm capping over, you know. That's the only time I would do a weave if I'm... Um, if I'm capping something, but I can do one. Not on this one though, but I do one. I set up another one for another time and do do some. Yes, you can, but I would recommend that you wear glasses though, because when you got contact, stuff can get, you know, you got stuff flying around all the time. In the welding field. Uh, especially because you just got debris and different stuff that can get in there. I'd rather just wear glasses. It'll be better, I mean, in my personal opinion. I just do that. That way you keep anything from getting in your eyes or anything like that, you know. I don't wear contacts. I don't really like I don't like putting nothing in my eye, but um, if for those who do, I would just recommend you wear glasses in the field or in the shop because it'll keep things from getting in your eyes and irritating your eyes and stuff.
burnt in pretty good, fam. Burnt in pretty smooth. Yeah, you don't have to go to a, a trade school to get a job, fam. Yes, I do it all, fam. I do it all. I say the 7018, fam, because it's stronger and you can pretty much use it on different materials. So I would go with the 7018. It's stronger. It's flexible. Uh, it, it, it allows it to uh, move if it's something that's going to be pulling. That's what I go with. It all depends, fam, on what city or state you're in, fam. Everybody pays different, like literally. Google where you at, because every place is different, like no BS. Yes, I gouge. Yes, I do. I do it all. And that's really simple, gouging. I'm doing stick right now, fam, just summing it up. Yes, I do. I do pipe as well. Salute, salute. You seen me yesterday? Did I take a picture with you? I took a picture with a lot of folks, fam. I keep saying that so somebody can inbox me some photos on Instagram. <laughs> I've been there. Just left. I like Georgia, actually. <laughs> Only reason I'm here now for my son. I actually like Georgia. I leave. I, I pick Georgia over Arkansas any day. This is just where I'm at right now, fam. But I enjoy Georgia. I liked it where I was at. I just say get some thicker gloves for stick welding. Yes, I have, but it's been a while. Now, I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas right now. But I lived in Columbus and College Park. And Southwest Atlanta. Swamps, Southwest. Yes, yes, do it all, fam, do it all. So this is what we got right here, fam. This is my last one for the day. This is my 60 tick, my 7018. We actually pretty much covered it up. Uh, our goal was just running beads. You see, this is about, this is a two inch uh, groove, actually with two pieces of two inch angle uh, tacked back to back. That way you can go on all, well, all the way over in all four positions, or you can keep flipping it until you actually get it. So I think if you do something like this and you tack it together and you feel this out, you go to the other one, you feel it that by the time you go around this four time and you feel all this out to two inches, you're gonna be learning something, fam. <laughs> you're gonna be learning a whole lot. So it's good to be repetitious like that. I think that's a good thing. Uh, good start of welder. In my personal opinion, I like that uh, Lincoln 140 MP. That's good for the money. It's a multi processing unit, good for the bucks. It's real light. I like it. I think that's a good for the bucks. Especially for the for the price and what you can do with it. <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's all good, fam. Uh, it, <laughs> you won't be the first person that told me some stuff like that. Favorite process, fam. Man, I like them all, fam, but I enjoy stick welding and I enjoy flux scoring. You know what I mean? I enjoy both of them. I like TIG and on certain stuff, but I like to do stuff fast. I like to fabricate and, and I build my own product so I can build things faster with uh, flux score and um, MIG welding. So that's what I use a lot because it's just money making, you know. Yes, I do do the aluminum actually, but not here. But um, my first job when I first got out of prison, I did aluminum for the first year. I actually was building ambulance. Uh, I was building from start to finish the box, all the cosmetic diamond play on the outside, all that good stuff. 7018 is what I'm work, working on right now. Keeping it tight, keeping it tight. That's how you control it. You want to keep it tight. You want to keep that arc so close it's literally kissing the metal. And then watch your travel speed. As long as you're going to proper speed, you won't have no undercut. It'll fill itself in.
Okay, okay. Salute, salute. Y'all popping up kind of fast, fam, on me. What'd he say real quick? Uh, 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 uh. Salute, salute, fam. I thank for the love, man. I do appreciate everybody coming through. I know sometimes I can't see or respond to all the messages that be going so fast. And sometimes, you know, you have people come in um, saying disrespectful things. So I have to block a couple people. But fam, I'm going to keep it real with you. My goal is to give you some free education. I want to help you win. If I can give you a tip to increase your life, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not on here to boast. I'm not on here to say I got the best whales in the world. I'm not on here to tell you how much money I'm making to make you feel bad or to lie to you so you can do none of that, fam. My goal is to help you win. So if you don't know how to do it or you need some tips or you want to know, you know, uh, what, what's, um, what's the best side hustle, things like that, fam, I can help you all the way around from the shop to the field to being an entrepreneur and a business owner. So by no means is this channel meant to boast or brag about anything, fam, because I ain't got nothing to brag. At this point in my stage of my life, fam, I'm preparing to die. I'm going to keep it 100 with you, fam. I'm just living life. I'm just living life. So I want to plant a seed so we can keep growing. So after I'm gone, fam, the knowledge can keep going, fam. But by no means is this uh, page or this channel meant to belittle anyone, to step on anyone, only to uplift and educate and uh, to motivate someone to be great. That's it, fam. That's, that's the whole reason I'm here. Fam, you really got to try it a couple times to get that proper speed down. I can't give you a certain miles per hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just going to have to try it a couple times. No, I'm not union, fam. No, I'm not. Uh, I do both, fam, but I like freehanding more. I'm a freehander. I got a good hand, so I like to freehand and I can't walk the cup, but I'm a good freehander, though. Yes, you should learn how to read blueprints. Yes, yes, yes. It is not hard, fam. Take your time. Learn that, fam. Learn that and how to read the tape measure. Once you learn how to read a tape measure from an inch, from a, a 16th all the way to an inch, you can read it from 30, 40 feet. But learn how to read the tape measure from a 16th to an inch. From a 16th to an inch, fam, and you win it. You win it. Yes, you can, fam. You got a drive plug or whatever you need. Plug in and get it on. Fam, I salute, fam. And you know what's so crazy? I know people like me are hard to find because when I was searching, I couldn't find me. I was looking for someone my whole time, fam. I got out of prison. I couldn't find nobody that would give me some information, to be honest. They was always trying to tell me something, how to kiss somebody's ass or how to, oh, man, you got to do this to survive. Wasn't nobody being real and just give me some real game. Like, man, all y'all just watered down. So I didn't want to do that, fam. So if y'all would go back on my old, so I got my... I have two YouTube channels, family, for those who want to learn and get some background on me. My first YouTube channel is Hog on Welding slash Hog on University. You put either one of them in, you're going to see that hog pop up. You see that hog pop up, you know that's me. That's my first channel, so y'all check it out. You can learn. Like I, Every time I did a field job, I was working in repairs, I was in shops. That, that channel got over 5,000 videos, fam, of me actually working in the field, turning stuff into business. When I started the business, the whole nine. Now, my second channel is Your Welding Coach. I just started on teaching uh, since I've been at the academy in Little Rock. It's actually, not only is that a channel, even though this is Your Welding Coach, it's actually an LLC. It's a business too, fam. So I am an entrepreneur. It's a licensed business. Your Welding Coach LLC is a business. So uh, that's why I tell you I can help people from different standpoints. Because not only am I going to teach you how to weld, I'm going to teach you how to get a real bag from welding, fam. And that's being an entrepreneur. But everybody don't have that mindset. Everybody ain't meant to be a boss. Just like everybody ain't meant to be a worker. And so if whoever you are, I want to see you win from that standpoint. Yeah, fam, I'll let you see this one before I go. Because I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. These were some 78s we ran. We ran these here today. We was practicing on these. And uh, tomorrow, I don't know, we probably do some flux score tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Friday. You know what? we we'll probably not be going live tomorrow. If I do go live tomorrow, it's going to be early. I might go live tomorrow evening. I don't know right now. It's still in the air, fam. It's early. <laughs> Normally, I try to go, family, between 3.30 and 4 o'clock in the evenings because that gives plenty of people time to get off work or, you know, the time in, the clock in with me. So I had a few people say, hey, man, start around 4 o'clock. So I'm trying to do it around 4. Uh, coming soon, though, probably in the next 
three or four weeks or coming into next year, I'll be having a new class. It'll be a six to 10. Now this is a private class. It'll be from six to 10. So when I, when you see me pop up at night, you know, it's somebody private and we doing one-on-one -on -one classes. So, um, I'm gonna have some of that coming soon. So for those who need private classes, I actually do them all. I teach hands-on. I have a 40 hour, 80 hour. I have a two months course that I teach private. Like I say, so it's a Plenty of ways I can help you. I can help you for free, so that's why I try to give the information for those who are um, hungry, if I can help you. But I literally can help you uh, hands-on uh, at the school or private. So y'all be blessed, fam. I got to get up out of here. It's almost time. My time has expired. Uh, y'all enjoy y'all evening. Like I say, be blessed and continue to prosper. I'm out. Keep getting your hog on, fam.